How do we let go of things not going our way? How do we let go when shit hits the fan and we don't understand anything? If you catch yourself being in a negative situation and starting to have all of these negative thoughts of like, this is going wrong, why is this not happening, what's going on? Um, take a step back, literally pull yourself out of the situation. When a woman is pregnant, we know it takes exactly nine months for that baby to arrive. We will not check every minute of the day to see when is the baby coming. Chances are high that every time you've manifested something, it never came in the way that you thought it would come. It happened, but it never happens in the way that we expect it. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter how it gets to us as long as it gets to us. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about the art of being unbothered and the art of non-attachment and being detached. I feel like this is something everybody struggles with, especially if you're a type A personality like me. We always want to control everything, but actually what I've noticed is the times that I've manifested the fastest was literally when I was the most detached. So sometimes when we want something so bad, like so, so bad, we that energy of wanting it so bad kind of um, keeps the very thing that we want away from us. Also, let me know in the comments, when was the fastest time that you've ever manifested something? I love to read your comments. So you can also read other people's comments to see how fast you can actually manifest when you're detached and when you're collapsing time. How do you practice the art of non-attachment? I'm gonna give you guys some tips. So stick to the end of this video to find out how. Also, if you're new, here, new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for supporting me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Give this video a like right now. It's just one click. And let's get into this video. So I recently asked you guys on, well recently, it's been a few weeks, but I asked you guys what you were struggling most with with manifesting. And a lot of you, most of you said worrying or trying to make things happen on your own, right? Because the art of living your highest purpose and your highest potential and your best life and just going after your dreams. Part of manifesting is actually surrendering and letting go because a lot of people think manifesting is just making things happen, you know, just doing, 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 but that's like there needs to be this balance of I'm putting the intention out, I'm doing the work, but I'm also letting go. It's like a dance of the back and forth, right? So we send out these offer waves if you don't know what offer waves are don't worry i highly recommend you watch one of my last videos um i talk more about offer and echo waves there i'm not gonna get into it in this video but if you want to know more you can check out that video i'm gonna link it right here you want to detach from the outcome because i always like to give an example for the house that i live in before i moved into this house i saw another listing of an apartment that i really really love and i didn't get that apartment and i could have been like i could have beat, my, beat myself beaten i could have beaten myself up about it i'm not american you guys so sometimes i struggle with english i can could have beaten myself up about it but in the end, if I look at the end result, it's so much better, right? It's so much better, I got my dream house. And so maybe you're going through things right now where it's like you don't understand what's going on. You are trying to manifest something. You are trying to call whatever it is, something into your life, a person, love, success, a, mo a career change, um, moving into a better place. Whatever you were trying to manifest, how do we let go of things not going our way? How do we let go when shit hits the fan and we don't understand anything, right? The first tip I want to give you is to care less. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but the less you care, the more detached you are from it. And so if you're somebody that tends to be like an overgiver, a people pleaser, or to be really emotionally attached on about your manifestations, take a step back and surrender and know that whatever God has in store for you is infinitely bigger than what you can imagine for yourself. 
My second tip is if you see yourself going into this, if you catch yourself being in a negative situation and starting to have all of these negative thoughts of like, this is going wrong, why is this not happening, what's going on, um, take a step back, literally pull yourself out of the situation, go do something else, swim in cold water, watch a movie that's gonna make you laugh, work out, literally stop whatever you're doing, get outside, do something that completely distracts you from what is going on currently and when you're in a better mood, like when you have watched that funny video, that funny movie, when you have worked out, then take a moment to breathe and to meditate and to like really focus on letting go. One book that has really helped me get into surrender is called The Surrender Experiment by Michael A. Singer and it really helps you get into surrender. He decided to really go into surrender his entire life. That doesn't mean not doing anything, but really being like, if it happens, I'll be okay, I'll be happy, but if it, if it doesn't happen, I'll be fine too. And that's really like the best state of mind to be in. So that book, that book has really helped so much like to get out of like trying to make things happen. Again, the how is not our part to figure out. We don't know how it's gonna happen, right? We don't know how things are gonna manifest. We don't know how our dreams are gonna come to us. There's no way that we can figure it out. There are infinite possibilities. God is so big, we can't even like comprehend it with our mind. My third tip is be open. Chances are high that every time you've manifested something, it never came in the way that you thought it would come. It happened, but it never happens in the way that we expect it because God is so big, his ways or the universe, whatever you identify with, his ways are not our way, our ways. And it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter how it gets to us as long as it gets to us. So and actually every time I've manifested something, it never manifested in the way I thought it would. My fourth tip is to do something every day that reinforces that mindset of like letting go and surrendering, whether that's reading something, whether that's watching these videos. But I, and I've been at this for like a decade, over a decade. I've been at this for over a decade and still like I have to fill myself, fill my spirit with these truths every single day. So I highly suggest you do the same and you kind of train your mind to know that everything in life is happening for us, not to us, even if we don't understand what's going on, even if we feel like God has deserted us, even if we feel so disconnected, we are, the truth is we are always manifesting. We are always sending out a vibration, a resonance field. And based on that resonance field, based on that frequency of the thoughts and the words and the feelings that we are putting out, things are gonna come back to us. And my last and fifth tip is to not try to force things and to know that things are working out for you even if it doesn't seem like it, right? When when a flower is growing, it is first growing under the soil. And for so long, we just look at the soil and nothing's happening, nothing's sprouting, nothing's coming out, and it seems like nothing's happening, right? Like I'm looking at the soil, nothing has happened, why is nothing happening? But the thing is, you're looking at the soil, you're not seeing anything. Meanwhile, under the soil, things are growing and it's just a matter of time until that flower comes out of the ground and starts blooming and have you ever looked at like the beginning of spring when it's still like kind of winterish and everything seems dead and all of a sudden like a few days later there's like flowers blooming everywhere like so fast and this is how it is with manifestations like it's 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 not there and then it's there and when it arrives it's like almost normal Oh yeah like this is normal we've been waiting for this for so long but in the meantime we've had all these thoughts of like how is this ever gonna happen is this happen so trust that it actually can and will happen for you that it's just a matter of time and the more you step back the more you practice the art of non-attachment and being detached the faster this is actually how you collapse time 
um, actually bonus tip, collapsing time and making things happen faster for you. If you keep asking, if you keep calling the universe, I need to know when this is gonna happen. Like, can you, can you please give me an ETA? Can you give me an estimated time of arrival of my manifestation? Like that vibration is, when is it going to happen? If you're in the state of when, you can't be, you can't be in two states at the same time. You can't serve two masters at once. So are you going to be in the state of when is it going to happen? Or are you going to be in the state of, yeah, I already have this. I already do because creation is complete. Everything I want is already out there in the quantum field. And I just have to call it in by being in the vibration of having it already. And that is every second of the day. This takes discipline, guys. I'm not, I never said it was easy. Every second of the day, catch yourself, catch your thoughts and think of like, are you in the vibration of how is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? Are you trying to make things happen on your own, right? Or are you acting as if it was already here? You know what I mean? When a woman is pregnant, we know it takes exactly nine months for that baby to arrive. We will not check every minute of the day to see when is the baby coming. When you go into a restaurant, right? And you get the menu and you order, I don't know, a type of salad. So you order your salad and the waiter gets the order and the chef is going to start preparing your salad. Once that order is placed, once it's put out there, you know that it's gonna come back to you because you know that that's what you ordered, a salad, right? You're not going to go into the kitchen and to check on the chef if he's actually making the salad and if he's making it the exact way and the exact order that you would make it. Can you imagine how crazy we would look if we would actually do that? Yep, this is what we do with all of our manifestations. We keep checking in, we keep checking. So stop, just stop checking. Know that you've put it out there. Know that it's coming back to you. And the less you are, the less attached you are to it, the more control you have over your emotions, the faster it will come to you. And this, I always say to see life as a game because this is, because we literally are in a game. We literally are in a simulation. You can project anything that you want into your hologram. So what are you projecting? Think about this every second of the day. Set reminders on your phone. If you have to set reminders, I don't care what you have to do, Put sticky notes everywhere. Remind yourself to stay centered and to focus and to see it as a game. When we see life as a game and not like this heavy uh, feeling like you're walking in mud, but when we see it as like, oh yeah, this could happen, this would be nice. But I'm being in the energy of like, yes, this it would be great if that would happen, but I'm also content if it doesn't happen because I know that God has infinitely better for me in store if it doesn't happen, right? Everything's always happening for good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon.